Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. We are, of course, playing on Critical Mode. In the last episode, we went over to Olympus Coliseum and defeated Hades. And, you know, kind of helped our friends Hercules and Orin become the men that they are supposed to be. The heroes that they should be. In this episode, we are going to head to one of our final... Uh, worlds that we haven't revisited yet, the Pride Lands. Now, it is worth mentioning that we haven't really been to Atlantica or uh, Hollow Bastion. There's actually two worlds in Hollow Bastion that we could go to. In this episode, though, we are going to head to the Pride Lands and see what our dear, dear friend Simba has been up to. Let's go see what's going down in the Pride Lands. It's you guys. Man, we were hoping you were a meal. Hiya. Don't give me any of that Hiya stuff. Thanks to you clowns, we're back to scavenging scraps for a living. <laughs> Come on, it's not that bad. I enjoyed that weak dead elephant we had yesterday. Hey, how's Simba? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta laugh every time we hear that dude's name. <laughs> Ooh. Say it again. Simba. <laughs> One more time. Simba. Simba. <laughs> That's enough. Go on then. See for yourself. Simba is one wishy-washy king. Yeah, I bet about now even some of those high and mighty lionesses were wishing they'd gotten themselves a different king. Gorge, what do you think could have happened? Well, let's go find Simba and see. Scar? We better tell Simba about this. Wonder if he's up there. I don't know, Goofy. What do you think? Yeah, probably is the answer we are looking for. We can talk to the lionesses. Did you see it too? Scar's ghost appeared all over the place. Everyone's terrified. Something's awful is going to happen. It's 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 probable. Uh, things may be better now with Simba here, but what this land really needs is a king like Mufasa. Mufasa! Well, we haven't seen Ed and Shanzai, Shanzai and Benzai in a while, but it is interesting to see them here. Now, I also wanted to do something that I didn't do uh, last time we were here. That's not actually my abilities. Uh, it's my items here. We can actually equip now. Instead of having the, uh, the Rumbling Rose, we can now actually equip the Decisive Pumpkin, which gives us combo boost and also just does a ton more damage. Uh, so we're actually going to go with the Decisive Pumpkin, although using um, the other one isn't a terrible idea, the Rumbling Rose, just because it does give you the finishing plus. But we are going to go up here and see what's going on. Have you come to see Simba? We saw Scar's ghost. An omen like that could only be foretelling the end of our pride. Yet King Simba won't do a thing. I guess just being the son of the great Mu King Mufasa doesn't necessarily mean he's ready to rule the kingdom himself. Trust me, Simba will think of something. The time for thinking has passed. We need him to take action. As his father would have done, he ruled with courage and pride. I remember it like it was yesterday. The mighty Mufasa. Simba will do that too. You'll see. I'm not so sure. Wait here. I want to go talk to Simba. Why would it... Why... What? Who? Okay. Why would we... Whatever. Let's go talk to Simba. You came back. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Hey, Simba, why don't we team up and do something about that Scar Ghost? Seems like everybody's worried about it, so now's your big chance to show him what you're really made of. That doesn't concern you. Sorry. 
It's okay. I just wish I knew what my father would do. But he's not here, Simba. It's all up to you now. And that means the important thing is what you're gonna do being the king, not what your father would have done. So you're saying it's all up to me? See? There you go. Exactly! Yep, yep, yep. We know your dad was a great king and all, but now it's your turn. Remember what I taught you. You gotta put the past behind you. It's time to go out there and show everybody things are gonna be just fine. Yeah, you can do it. You gotta live for today. And find your own path. Live for today. And find my own path. Not my father's. That's it. I'm glad to hear you say that, Simba. <laughs> Promise me you'll help Simba any way you can. As long as Sora handles a dangerous part. I'm counting on you, Simba. And so is our baby. Mm -hmm. Great, now we're gonna have to babysit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see Rafiki first. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something about that ghost. Sora learned the running tackle ability. And we will put Simba into the party, and we are actually going to put Goofy in here as well. Uh, Donald is useful because of his... Look at... Simba is so broke. His animation, look at it. Look at it. Oh. Oh, he's like clicking every... He's like clicking every time he walks. It's disgusting. Anyways, uh, so we now have the running tackle. Unleashes a rapid tackle on a single target while attacking during dash, uh, which is pretty cool. So we now have running tackle. And we find ourselves in the King's Den. The only real limit that we are going to be wanting to use while we are here in Pride Lands is going to be Simba's just because it's so strong. I wanted to go up here to the peak real quick because I wanted to show you that there is a rapid thruster up here, which is pretty cool. Uh, but that's pretty much it right now. Also, just look at the Pride Lands. You can see, oh, it's so buggy. Everything's like shaking. Is that, that's so weird. Uh, anyways, uh, I thought I would just come up here to show you that there's nothing really up here right now, uh, that you can deal with. But that Rapid Thruster, hmm, might be a sign of things to come. I don't know. Let's head over all the way down here, uh, and we're gonna go see Rafiki after talking to Nala. Simba thought the world of his father, that's why he compares himself with Mufasa, and feels so unsure. Let's go see what Rafiki is doing. So he's obviously right in his cave, as he as he tends to be, uh, just kind of caving it up, being a being a cave monkey. Uh, Stone Hollow. Ooh, hello, Rafiki. What are you doing, dude? Oh ho ho! The king. He is ready to be king. I think so. Can you tell us about Scar's ghost? Oh yes, the ghost. A being with no body, it is created when the evil heart of Scar meets the hesitating heart of Simba. Hesitating? Oh, you thought you were not? Gosh, that ghost sounds just like a heartless. Hmm, I don't know. You're right, you don't. But you do know it is upsetting. It is upsetting the hearts of everybody in the Pride Lands. You may not know what it is, but it still is. This world, it is full of many such things, and these things a king must face. It is the test that has been set for you, Simba. That's all? Come on. You have to tell us more about the ghost. No, not today. But the hyenas in the elephant graveyard may know more. Does not matter, though. There is little the Simba of late can do. Ah, uh, don't say that. Not when he's ready to try. In his head, perhaps. But what about his heart? Oh, Rafiki. Well, let's head to the elephant graveyard. I can't do a Rafiki voice. I wanted to, but I can't. I can't do it, guys. I suck. All right, let's get out of here. We're going to head all the way to the Elephant Graveyard, which is, uh, well, exactly where we need to go. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's Scar's ghost. Oh, no. It's totally fine. It's not even, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. The same enemies that have been here before are now going to show their heads. Uh, again, though, with something like the Decisive Pumpkin equipped, uh, these enemies stand real, no real chance. Uh, and it's, again, worth killing all, like I've been saying, not only for the the synthesizing stuff, but also that limited experience that we, you know, kind of need to get. Especially when those Neo Shadows are, shadows are giving about 300 to 400 experience each time we kill one. It is worth doing it. 
So we want to head all the way this way. The other way is not quite where we want to go. Don't worry, guys. We will be back in the savannah. Uh, and it also looks like we can go ahead and try dealing with some of these guys. Luckily, these aren't the monster dangerous ones that we fought before. Uh, instead, these are kind of the ones that use fire and all of the spell casting and stuff like that. And they drop frost crystals, which is pretty handy. There's also bolt towers here, uh, which is a strange heartless, I think, to find here. Just because it feels to me like bolt towers belong in the land of dragons. Uh, I know they don't, but it's fine. Look at that, and Goofy hit level 38, which means that Sora is also pretty close to hitting level 38. To the Elephant Graveyard. Whoa. How you? Ah, come on. Can't you guys just leave us alone? Do you three know anything about Scar's ghost? Huh? Scar's ghost? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you do know. All right, this is going to be a really weird fight. We need to defeat the three hy hyenas, uh, and the best way to do this is to actually cast magnets, uh, and then just go ahead and go into as many of them as you can. Hopefully, you can actually find them. But we'll keep using gather. Uh, it actually isn't a terrible idea to go ahead and actually use your limit that you have with Simba. You really want to catch all three of them in this, but being able to catch all three is no easy task. Um, uh, it does look like right now we are potentially, I was hoping, going to be able to do that, but we weren't actually able to. So this fight can take a little bit of time, uh, especially if you are, you know, not very fast. Uh, but it does look like we were able to do the running tackle there on one of them. Uh, but we want to see if we can just do this and just keep pounding at least some of them. Uh, now, you do have to destroy all three, uh, but we should be able to do that no problem. Uh, just because of the way that this fight is. It is really, really, really annoying and kind of really difficult um, to be able to get all three of them in a magnet. But if you can, uh, the fight is pretty much over. Unfortunately, I thought I had my magnet available to me and I actually didn't, uh, which is unfortunate. There we go. Okay, so we got one of them out. It looks like, oops, did not mean to do that. Uh, did not mean to use his limit gauge. That's okay. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Oops, oops, oops. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Okay, 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 game. I don't even know. Is this Ed? Is this Ed? See, that's, this is why the game actually... What is going on? Uh, this is why the game actually gave you uh, running tackle. is just so that you can actually, like, do some damage against them. Just because it's actually really, really difficult to do it. This is why I recommend making sure that you have something like magnet equipped. Uh, just because when you do have magnet equipped, you can actually do some serial damage to them uh, pretty quickly. Uh, where is the other one? That's what I want to know. But again, this fight is kind of annoying and kind of boring, to be honest with you. Apparently, we missed one of those, so we got a frost gem right there. Uh, okay, so we can, hopefully... Uh, okay, this is not what I wanted to do. Uh-oh. This is so weird. So broken right now. Alright, let's just go ahead and beat them up. Again, this is a super easy fight. Use Magnet whenever you can. And I will kind of skip over the fight because it's kind of taking a while. There we go. We got Ed. Uh, it looks like Shanzai. Now we just need, or uh, Bonsai. Now we just need Shanzai, and that will be the end of these. So we'll just go ahead and cast Magnora, and that should hopefully be able to finish off at least, at least uh, be able to do some damage to this one. While we wait for our MP to come back, of course. And there we go. Let's see. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh my God. Oh my God. Game. You got this. You got this. I have faith. I have faith so fast, so fast, especially when you don't have uh, a, your ability to use magic right now. These things are really, really, really fast. Uh, and of course, we are also using our uh, divisive, decisive pumpkin, which adds a combo, which maybe not good, but we will get an accessory slot. Oh no, I guess you caught us all. What are we gonna do? <laughs> huh. Tell me about Scar's ghost. Sorry, we don't know nothing. Oh, wait. It's coming back to me. That's the one that only hangs out around Freddy Cats. Right, Banzai? Enough! <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Must be a Freddy Cat around here somewhere. Simba, do something! How does it feel to be king, hmm? Why, you must be truly inspiring. After all, you are the son of the great Mufasa. 
Where are you going? Ah, Simba. Running away as always. Simba! <laughs> Gorge, Rafiki was right. You mean Simba's still unsure? Seems like. Do you think there's some way we can help? Hmm. We should start by talking to Simba some more. Let's head back to the Pride Lands. Where's Simba? Well, uh... Oh, ho, ho, he ran away! I knew it would not be easy for him. To face his fears, he must go somewhere where the only thing to think of what is to do what, what, not what others think of him. What did you just say? Why didn't you just say so? But where's Simba now? Hey, I know, he's at the Oasis. It's our favorite hangout. Got it, let's check it out. I'll lead the way. No, you won't. Simba will smell you coming a mile away, and if he's smart, he'll run for the hills. Oh, right. Why don't we send Nala? No? Okay. Just us, I guess, then. Well, that's frustrating. We can talk to these guys if we want, but uh, that's not really a big deal. They're not going to say too much. If you're looking for Simba, he probably went to the Oasis, uh, and Nala's just going to be like, I can't believe I married this dude. Uh, Simba is something that Mufasa didn't. He must figure that out himself. Something that Mufasa didn't. And we're actually just going to run right past these for the most part. Uh, we can kill a few of them if we so choose. Uh, but the Simba, the I mean the Scar Ghost and stuff isn't going to give you experience. And you're pretty much going to see it every time you uh, go into a new zone. So you can ignore it if you so choose. Or, or kill these if you also so choose. Uh, it's kind of up to you, right? Again, we are nearing the end of the game. So it wouldn't be a terrible idea to get some of these, uh, some of this stuff. So we are going to go this way now. Uh, let's kill these Bolt Towers, actually, just because um, we can actually just do a lot of damage to these. And, uh, and you know, potentially be able to... Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted. And just be able to get some easy, easy experience, because Bolt Towers are super, 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 super easy to kill. There we go, and Donald leveled up, which is pretty darn gnarly. So we'll head all the way over here. Uh, we can use our dash so that we can go a little bit faster. Skip these guys, why not? And let's head over to Wildebeest Valley. Again, we just want to skip, for the most part, skip all this. Uh, we can kill this if we so choose, just because it will actually die super, super quick. And uh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, the Neo Shadows are only 200 experience. I thought I saw 300. I might have been lower on health. Maybe that's why. But it's still easy peasy, and then we can continue on. Uh, the main, the main goal here, ooh, look how many rising knights there are. So easy. Cast, what if we just did this? Oh, losers. So, de oh, well, not you. Well, there we go. 624 experience. I'll take that. Let's, let's proceed. I was a little afraid I was gonna die right there. Such a long way to get all the way over to this, but I think the main reason it wants us to do this is because of the Scar Ghost. It wants us to see the Scar Ghost that is just kind of chasing us to the end of times. But we're just going to move pretty darn quick and see if we can get over to the jungle, which is exactly where we need to go. Scar is still right on my butt, man. Get out of here, dude! Stop chasing me. What do you want? Get out of here. What a loser. All right, let's go. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! That's fine. Father! Hmm. It seems even your daddy has abandoned you. How sad. I gotta say, while I love Pride Lands, aesthetically, enemies, combat-wise, I just enjoy it. I will say that this current revisit of Pride Lands is probably one of the worst revisits we actually do. Just because of the way Simba is painted, the storyline that's happening right now, it's just kind of... It paints him in a, in a way that I wouldn't think he would be painted. You know, I don't know. It just kind of makes Simba feel weak compared to all of the adventures that we've actually had with him. Yeah. 
Simba! It's no use. I'll never be the king my father was. But Simba, that's not what you're supposed to be. You can't be Mufasa. You can only be you. Everybody believes in you as a king. They just want to see what you'll do. And if anyone's saying they liked your father better, it's because you haven't done much yet. That's all. I know that. Then stop moping and do something. I can't. Fine. Let's go, Shara. Yeah. Why stick around if he's not even gonna try? Come on, Goofy. <sighs> the hesitant king will one day lose all his friends. King Shimonogatha. Worried by a silly old ghost. Ooh, Simba, the do-nothing king. No! Cry and stop me. You did it! The ghost is gone! We knew you could do it! Hooray for Simba! You know, I'm really lucky to have friends who'll stand by me and help me see clearly. My father wasn't so fortunate. There you go again. I mean... Everyone here and in the Pride Land wants me to succeed. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Pumba, Timon, Rafiki, Nala. You all want what's best for me. But my father always had Scar lurking behind his back, trying to cut him down. I've got to make the most of my blessings and rebuild this kingdom. Are you gonna say it or do it? Wait and see. Come quick! There's a bazillion ghosts of Scar haunting the Pride Lands! Everybody but Nala hightailed it out of there! And now she needs your help! Uh... Our little Simba, all grown up and finding his place in the world. Nice try! You're coming too! And again, we'll put Simba back into the party! I've come back, Nala. Get out. Way to go, Simba! Are you with me? Now and forever, your majesty. Now and forever, your majesty. Okay, so before we head into the savannah, we want to go to Stone Hollow and save real quick, because we do indeed have a boss fight coming. But do you see what I mean? This world is so, like, the story is kind of like, and eh, we just we just need you a reason to be here, you know what I mean? Like, there is no real story. Let's head into the savannah, though, and see what's going on with this this darkness, this scar upon the land. And now we have to fight the Ground Shaker, which is actually a really annoying enemy. Um, and it's kind of more of a, not a straightforward fight. So right off the bat, you want to use Leap whenever the reaction command is up so that you can get out of his giant stomps. If you don't, you'll die. So we'll just use Leap, get out of this, and eventually, right now, 
we'll be able to use the reaction command Fint, which is going to stop him from stopping on our face. We can actually just keep using this, and then we will be able to stun it. This is going to be a uh, thing that will keep happening throughout the fight, but right now what we want to do is lock on, and unfortunately it looks like, for whatever reason, uh, Simba's auto is not working. It's not actually showing up for us. There it is. There's Wildcat, after it's way too late for us, but that's okay. Uh, now, we actually want to get ready, because we're going to come up here, use another reaction command, Leap, which will put us onto his head, and it says the core is here. And then we will lay back into the head, see if we can do some damage while we are up here, and hopefully we can. And now we will use Wildcat to hopefully do some serial, serial damage uh, against it as much as we can anyways. We want to spam it. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we are missing a ton of our attacks that we can actually do here, but maybe, maybe, maybe Proud Roar will actually do some damage. Uh, unfortunately, we ended up not landing there, so we actually lost a lot of it. The core is in the head of the giant Heartless, so you actually have to see if you can land onto the Heartless, uh, which is not as easy as it looks, especially when you can't do it when the head is upside down like this. So what do you have to do instead? You have to dodge the flames and lay into the eye. That is the only thing right now that you are able to do. And of course, you want to also be avoiding the stomps that this thing does. If you end up getting stomped, you will die. But again, like I said, this fight is super, super buggy in the way that, like, it doesn't really work well. It's not, it's not a well-designed fight. Right up there, we'll cast, uh, we'll cast Cure, just so that we can have some health back. And then we will try seeing if we can lay back into the eye, uh, avoid those stomps if you can. And unfortunately, it's just the way this fight is, it's really, really lame. It's a really lame fight. Probably one of my least favorite fights in the entire game, just because uh, there's not actually much you can do besides trying to get onto these eyes and doing stuff and just kind of waiting for reaction commands to happen, uh, which is, you know, not the most fun to wait for reaction commands. Right now, we want to wait, make sure we don't get stomped, and you just want to keep seeing if you can get in front of the head of the beast uh, and wait for those reaction commands and actually be able to use them. Seriously, that's all this fight is. It's really annoying and really frustrating uh, just because... You, it doesn't matter how good you are, you need to wait for the opportunity to actually strike. Uh, which, some people like, some people don't. Okay. Me, don't like it. And now you have to run all the way back around to the other side of his head. See, this is what I mean, it's just ridiculous. And here we go, we're able to use Fend yet again, which is going to allow us to do the entire beginning reaction command. This is pretty much what you wait for the entire time, I'm not even joking. You wait for this to happen, uh, it uses Fend. You just have to avoid the attacks, not get hit. It's super, super dumb. You avoid the fire, you avoid the stomp. Super easy to avoid. Come down, fend him, uh, and then you do this again where you come over here, come over to his eye, uh, and hit his eye as much as you can. You can actually run through, but it's actually not as easy. Uh, and then you want to wait for a re uh, Unfortunately, for whatever reason, Simba has not been coming to us to be able to allow us to do this. So we wait. He'll land, then we use this again, wait for it to happen, then we leap, uh, leave up here, and then again, you want to lay into the Heartless as he appears, uh, which unfortunately for us, he is not actually appearing. Uh, there he is. Uh, he will go invincible, uh, in invisible and invincible, and you can't actually do any damage to him, which is, you know, super fun, and what a fun fight. I hate this fight, guys. I really, really hate it. Uh, but that's okay. We are in his final health bar. So that's uh, that's good news at least right um, So we can kind of lay into him do some damage avoid those uh, and then hopefully be able to maybe finish him off right here And we are so our maximum HP increased and we get a thunder element upgrade Which I believe means we now have thunder gun Simba seems fine now. Ha! The king has returned. The Pride Lands will not forget King Simba's courage. Or the courage of those who fought beside him. Do you think your quest will ever be over? I don't know. But I think as long as the Keyblade stays with me, I'll have to keep fighting. Ah, the struggle never ends. That is the great circle of life. Never, ever? The secret to victory 
is a strong heart. Go on, go on, go, go then. <laughs> go on, get out. Yes, yes. It is time your fight continues. Till we meet again, your majesty. I hope that's soon. It will be. So long. And Pride Lands is done. So much better the first time we were here than the second time. Oh, look at that. We're now on Rafiki's Wall. And we get the trophy, Return of the King. Lord of the Rings, anybody? A new episode was added to Hollow Bastion. Hmm, what could be going on there, I wonder? Interesting, and look at this place. The world that never was seems to be much, much stronger now. Interesting. I wonder what's to happen if we were to try landing there. Why don't we check? Uh-oh, looks like a no-go. Gorge, maybe the gate got stuck or something. Just wanted to show you what would happen in the next episode of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4 Critical Mode. We will be heading over to Hollow Bastion. There is some things that we can do here. It is now a battle level 45 world. It was a battle level 34 world earlier. Hol uh, Pride Lands that we just did uh, was a, a mere a mere 43, I believe. So uh, Hollow Bastion's a little bit of an improvement there. But that is it for uh, Pride Lands, which is, you know, kind of dumb, to be honest with you. I don't really like the revisited world, to be that, to be honest. Uh, but we do have absolutely everything we could get from Pride Lands, so there is no real reason to get back. And with that, we're done with this episode. Again, like I was saying, in the next episode, we'll head to Hollow Bastion, do some stuff there. But don't forget, though, we still have some places that we can head to, like Atlantica and Hundred Acre Wood and all that jazz, which we will be doing. We are getting very, very close to the end of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Showing up on screen right now is some things that you can click, including a button to Patreon.com, where for just a dollar a month, you can support the channel and get early access to these videos. Thanks for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the Ghost of Scar.